Colorful is what I would call a rightfully underrated movie. When it does good, it is done so perfectly well, it's almost a crime to not see it. Yet all the things that hinder it really don't work out in its favor. And mostly it has to do with the subject matter. So is the movie divisive in its messaging or the way it goes about it? Well, it's sort of the case in both rhetoricals. I'll get to what I mean in a moment. And fair warning, the film's topics are quite heavy, dealing with matters of self-harm and attempts. So just be aware. A spirit is given the task to inhabit a body of a middle school boy named Makoto after the boy himself attempted suicide. Through a small angel child thing, the soul learns why Makoto tried to off himself and has to tie up Makoto's loose ends. Meanwhile, the spirit must investigate what it did in his own past life in order to be given full rights and pass on, or else it will leave the world unfulfilled. What will the soul learn through the eyes of this troubled teenager? And how does it cope with the knowledge it receives in figuring out that life isn't monochrome but rather full of color? The film is a tragically beautiful mess, taking various domestic and mental issues I don't often see in anime, at least to this degree of intensity, and the cost of being unique in its own structure. What I mean by that is that the story and the plotlines are not as original as you may think, and you can quickly pick up what's going to happen next and even guess what the end result will be long before the movie's conclusion. Part of the joy of mystery is the mystery itself, and while it's kept closed fairly well for a good while, the answer is kind of easy to figure out by the second half of the film. But that's only the biggest problem of the flick. The biggest praise of the movie, however, is the other aspect of the atmosphere, the drama. The movie doesn't stray too far from the uncomfortable and the melancholic. After all, it's handling heavy themes. And for what it is, it's believable drama. From how Makoto's attempt affected his family to how others see him post-attempt. My favorite scene of the film is Makoto's breakdown in front of his family of what school he wants to go to and his reasons why. That's a scene that really hits close to home and is wonderfully done in the pure emotion and build up to it. It really hits with the portrayals of the characters. The acting of the film is just stunning. There's no other way to put it aside from that either these actors have been through these situations personally or are just really freaking good. Of which, both situations are commendable in their own ways. And weirdly to say, this movie has an incredible dub. If you know me, I'm not the biggest fan of Greg Ayers. I don't hate him and he does have good roles, but he's not exactly my first thought when it comes to emotional acting. But to give him credit, despite not being too sure of him at first, my god, he really gets to you in those hardened scenes. Makoto in general is a good character, being this angry jerk but is dragged down by everything wrong in his life that you can understand where his discontent comes from, despite being a spirit occupying a boy's body. And in case you're wondering, yes, the animation is beautiful where it counts. The uses of colors and lighting, especially in those shots where is Makoto struggling in his life whether internally or externally, are exceptionally well done. I would be lying if I didn't say the somewhat stale movement is a bit stilted, but the pacing of the animation really makes up for it. The slow moving scenes are great, as they don't tend to rush you and you can just get stuck in the world and the atmosphere. For what it is, Colorful is a great movie without a great mystery or originality to it. If the storyboarding was improved on slightly or tried to hide the big twist better, it definitely would have been a finer movie. But to be fair, those aren't necessarily the main focus. Much of it is just a story of mental and domestic issues, and how they're portrayed faithfully with the appropriate art adding on to those nice messages. And I do have a soft spot for it considering the issues it tackles. It's not quite black or white, but it has a very touching green tone to it. Check to see for yourself what's to die for.